Good morning, Internet. We have Isun here today. We had Isun last night, too, but he only jumped in later. Um, today is going to be a quick day. Thursdays and Fridays, I have the least amount of time to vlog or anything like that, so... Oh, the water filter, in case if anyone was wondering, the reason why I have a water filter out is that I use filtered water for my cat's water fountain. No, I'm not spoiling my cats with filtered water. I'm actually doing it because otherwise the water fountain gets clogged up. I have really, really, really bad water quality here. Um, there's, it's extremely hard to the point where I actually have, because I have humidifiers, there is a fine dust over everything that I own in the living room just from a humidifier. Okay, that's on kid now. So. Um, since today is a quick day, I thought I would talk a little bit about houses. Uh, as I've mentioned multiple times, I'm... <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> this is the first time I've spoken this morning outside of my cats, so my throat's a little scratchy. I am currently in the process of buying a house. And my camera is totally tilted slightly. I'll have to fix that later. I am currently in the process of buying a house. This scares the beer-loving crap out of me. Um, Assuming that the bank doesn't realize immediately that there's something wrong with the house, or they go, Holy crap, we're giving this person that's not really an adult a house? Because I still don't view myself as an adult and haven't ever. Um, assuming they don't do that, I'm going to have control over the house starting April 24th. I will probably be moving in halfway through the year. I've spent a long time looking at houses. Um, before actually contacting the realtor or anything like that, I had actually been looking at the housing market here in Madison for two years. Um, what prompted that was I was walking in the neighborhood next to where I live in. It's actually the neighborhood I'm going to be moving to. And there's this great, big, beautiful house. It looks like a giant tower. I mean, it's a blue circular house that the inside kind of looks like what you would expect from, say, a modern take on a Harry Potter library. Um, so glass panes going around the outside of the house, a nice little spiral staircase going up, bookshelves galore. You get the idea. It was beautiful. It had just sold. Well, it had been pending when I had found it and sold recently after. And it actually sold for around the same price that I'm paying for my current house. I am still kicking myself over the fact that I wasn't able to buy that house. Because that house would have been Awesome. Would have also been slightly closer to all the things, but mostly I decided not to buy the house because I didn't know what I wanted to look for. Um, I have lived in rental places almost my entire life. The last place I lived in in Florida my mother actually owns, but I only lived there for about a year, so that doesn't really count. Year and a half, really. Um, so, mostly what I wanted to do was figure out what I wanted. Did I want a large house? Did I want a small house? Did I want a condo? I, I'm not the only one making the decision here, but I decided, you know, I really don't want to live directly next to people where I'm sharing walls with them again. I already deal with that here. I no longer have to deal with that upstairs and downstairs. This is a townhouse, so I'm the one that has the unit that includes the basement, this floor, and the floor above. But I didn't want to have to deal with direct neighbors anymore. So that means single-family dwelling of some variety. I partake in public transportation. I use it... At the moment, I only use it five times a week. Four to five. But in general, that's my primary form of transportation to go to work. So that means I need to live near bus lines. There are bus lines around everywhere in Madison. But I need to worry about proximity. I don't want to have a really long commute to work. Uh, nobody really does, but... Well, we'll phrase it as, I'm actually moving further away via the crow to work. So in other words, as the crow flies, I'm actually going to be about a mile further away from work. And I shorten my commute by 15 minutes in each direction. I'm not at all joking in this. This is, this is the way buses work in Madison and in a lot of other places. Um, so... 
proximity was important. I wanted a house that had hard floors of some variety, whether they were linoleum, wood, fake wood, tile. I didn't particularly care. I just am tired of carpet. I've lived with carpet for almost my entire life. It's annoying, especially when you have cats. And I wanted a large kitchen. I like cooking. And I'm actually filming this in my kitchen. I have an eating kitchen. This table that you see down here that I made sure was actually in the shot is my kitchen table. It doesn't have the leaf in it at the moment, so there's a little bit more space in my kitchen than normal. But I like large kitchens. I like cooking. I like having a lot of space so I can cook. Which means that in my new place, I wanted to make sure I had a decent sized kitchen. Apparently that was the hard part because it meant that I couldn't buy a small house anymore. The house that I'm buying is a little, it's close to triple the size of this place. I'm still by myself, technically. Triple the size. Why exactly do I need a four bedroom, three bath house? It's because of the kitchen. Um, most of the places that I was looking at that had at least decent sized kitchens were three to four bedroom, um, or three to six bedroom actually. The previous place that I was looking at, which is actually directly behind me if the camera could see through walls and garages and one house. It's basically a block immediately south of where I live right now. Um, it was a foreclosure place, so it was rather cheap and didn't seem to be too many things wrong. Later on, unfortunately, I found quite a bit more wrong. But that was a five bedroom, two and a half bathroom house that had a kitchen plus dining room area that I could just convert the dining room into more kitchen. That would have meant that my kitchen would have been the size of half of this house. Um, yeah, that would have been really, really awesome. I would have loved to live there, but I figured out I couldn't really afford all of the improvements that were required. There was leaks in the roof and... Zone, get down. Zone. <sighs> Kitties. Speaking of, Cats were an important consideration in buying a house. Um, I wanted to make sure that there was space for a litter box. That doesn't sound like a whole bunch, until you realize that I have three absolutely gigantic litter boxes, and I wanted to make sure that I can have some type of ventilation system so I can try and reduce the smell. My cats produce a lot of waste. Beyond that, I didn't really have that many other requirements when it came to houses. That Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to filter things down on your own to, I want houses with big kitchens, hardwood floors of some variety, or similar to hardwood floors, and oh yeah, and make sure that it doesn't, it's not too far away from bus lines. That's not exactly something doable. However, um, I found a very nice realtor that was able to narrow things down to that level. That's kind of creepy. The house that I'm buying is, was not actually picked out by my realtor, it was picked out by me. I wanted to make sure I took a look at it because it was in the correct neighborhood. It was, there was a lot of nice features, but my realtor did a crap ton of work looking at other houses for me. Um, I even had him looking at, we even went out to look at houses after I made my offer to the current place. I wanted to make sure it was still good because there was another house that was very similarly sized that was priced $40,000 less. Houses are expensive. I think that's enough for today. I hope that I didn't bore you too much. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'll talk about. Maybe I'll open it up to you all. If you have any questions for me, I would love to answer some. I don't think I'll have enough questions to fill up a video, but I'll answer pretty much anything. No matter how embarrassing, how mundane, how weird. And totally go for the puppy-sized puppy elephants. Enjoy!